every city has its good and its bad. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the bad, why people don't want to move here, what's the stresses of living in Buffalo like, and all that good stuff in between. What's going on you guys? I hope all is well as always. And if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. If this is your time returning, good looking out. It's always a pleasure to see you. Now, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the five reasons, really kind of six reasons, people don't like Buffalo. What's the reasons that people will never move back to Buffalo and a lot of things like that. We got some obvious ones. We got some ones probably people didn't really think about and we're gonna dive right deep into that right now. We're not gonna waste any time. Before we get started, everybody has their different reasons why they like and don't like something. This is coming from my perspective. Some of the people I talk to and just a bunch of articles that I be reading on Reddit and other places, why people really start to dog the city a little bit the way they do. Probably the number one reason that I find, and I know what you're thinking, it's the cold weather. No, it's actually really not the cold weather. The number one reason why is the jobs. The jobs in Buffalo are not very broad. We specialize in the jobs that we do well in, in those specific industries. Now, what industries am I talking about? Right now, tech is honestly booming in the Buffalo area, which is super dope. If you guys didn't watch that last video of the five reasons why people want to move, that was actually one of those reasons. The tech industry right now, Buffalo, out of the entire country, was the fifth fastest growing in the tech industry as far as startups coming here. The startups, the third, I think it was like 35 of them, raised almost almost $530 million for startups, specifically tech and software companies to come to Buffalo. Healthcare is a huge one. Higher education is another one. We got nine colleges in Buffalo. Factories, uh, kind of like that late, that blue collar labor, we still have that heavily because we're a big Rust Belt community in the Buffalo area. Because our cost of living is so low, you can pay your employees, it's not always a good thing to say, a little bit lower and that's the thing that a lot of people really harp on in the Buffalo area. I do think that is really starting to change, but we'll see depending on how the infrastructure and all those things go. I think it's more opportunities for people to develop in Buffalo, but if you're just looking to come here and shoot your way up the ladder in three or four or five years, we really don't have the infrastructure yet like that yet in a broadness of industries inside the Buffalo area, which is kind of unfortunate. Number two, which is the obvious one, the cold. Now, let's, let me just stop you real quick. When it comes to the cold, it's the same extremity of you living in a place that's 100 degrees. Like, it's just on the opposite end. If you can survive in 100 degrees, I'm pretty sure you can survive in cold weather. And it's not as bad as people make it. People are dramatic, my people. I promise you, it's not that bad. Now, from October to about February, it's going to be cold. The only time we really get a heavy snowfall is really around Christmas to start. And by February, it's over so don't let people confuse you talking about buffalo just this tundra year round now do it get cold yes in certain parts of the year but our summers and our falls are absolutely beautiful number three and this is something that we definitely do get a lot of harp about even though we're the second largest city in new york state which is surprisingly i still think that's surprising every time i hear it but one thing we're a small big city so we're a big city, yeah, but it's a small hometown feel to it. And a lot of people, and I'll really start to harp on a couple of these different things too, even later on, a lot of people really had that same mindset of back in the day. Like, and I think that's what really hinders Buffalo a lot. People still want to keep it the same. Like, no, we need more expansion here. We need more job opportunities. We need bigger development here. We need more modernization. And a lot of people like to keep Buffalo the way it is. And I think that's a huge con in itself. Like, cause because you start to not to deteriorate the city, but it, it, it just stagnates it. 
and I don't like that per se. So that's a big thing. Yeah, we're a small, big city, um, but that's something that not a lot of people like. Some people like that New York City feel, that Denver feel, that Houston feel. Like when you go downtown, you've seen all these skyscrapers and everything. We don't have that. We have one shot and we got one big building down here and that. Some people like that. Some people don't. Honestly, I just think the small, big city mindset or the small city mindset is really what's hindering Buffalo because there could be so much more expansion than what it is today. And that leads me on into number four. With that mindset comes the people. And what do I mean by this? Back in the day, everybody knows Buffalo was really a truly segregated city. And it's still that way today in most cases, which I dislike heavily. I feel like everybody should be given opportunity, no matter blue, black, green, it, white, it does not matter. And that's something that st really starts to hinder people, especially once you start to push out more and more and more, 30 minutes, 25 minutes away from the downtown metro area of Buffalo. A lot of cases, especially inside the suburban areas, the diversity is none. When I mean none, it's very, very, very little. And that hurts, especially when you're talking about an age of kids today. So millennials where they see any and everybody they want, they need to be at the same time and, you know, in entanglement and coming into that engagement of every single culture and diversity, what it is. So that's one thing that Buffalo still does lack on. It's, it's a lot better. Trust me, even from when I first moved to Chitawaka years ago, when I was younger to what it is now is almost night and day, which is excellent. But the diversity in some areas of Buffalo is still not there. Now, number I will, I'm going to call this one number six because we kind of joined in a couple, you know, with the diversity, with the old city big city style feel and then that last one was kind of people stuck in the past so i kind of grouped all those three together so the next one that we're going to be talking about let's call this number six i don't know i don't even know where we at let's call it the next one the next one really is the housing stock and the taxes this always plays a major factor especially when you guys are looking to purchase a home in any area for sure if you're inside the city taxes are not too bad now if you're in north buffalo or the delaware district where you're talking about huge mansions the taxes can get up there similar to what the sub suburbs are but again it's all really based on assessed value of your home and things like that anyways the taxes are really bad in buffalo i mean it's it's bad in some areas especially chitawaka they just had a huge reassessment i mean people was losing their mind assessed value is going up by 50 60 100 grand which is crazy uh some people you can literally pay inside the suburbs 55 to about seven thousand dollars a year like easy when you think about that that's an extra what you talk about 500 to about 475 dollars minimum a year in just tax payments that's not in including your mortgage principal your pmi insurance if you don't put 20 percent down your homeowner's insurance and other things like that so you have some tax problems in buffalo and in some cases you do see it so in the suburbs you do see your tax dollars go to work like for sure sidewalks always clean plows coming down before you waking up i mean greenery everywhere plants plotted anywhere you see it in the city not so much i don't see where them tax dollars is going inside the city and that's something that a lot of people do complain about inside the city is hey that's another one is the the political environment inside the city a lot of people not seeing where these tax dollars is going and we always make the jokes of potholes because they huge i had a pothole no exaggeration i had to go get a whole new tire whole new tire my tires is 400 dollars. i'm not trying to pay 400 dollars no more i be swerving missing them potholes for sure that's terrible english i move around those bottles but taxes are very high and also with those high taxes is now switching kind of into real estate a little bit um which is the older housing stock one thing i do feel that hinders buffalo for sure is the housing stock we don't have a modern new build community inside the buffalo again morano 
very good builder. I'm looking for that partnership. Make sure y'all hit me up, Morano. Cassie, if you're watching this, I know you will. Hit me up with the partnership. Anyways, we don't have a modern middle class community of 10 blocks of just all brand new homes inside the city of Buffalo. Morano started that over by Coven Estates inside North Buffalo, but we need a lot more. Apartments are nice. We do need apartments, but that two three ten block radius of nothing but that middle class kind of new build area for young professionals for older professionals that just want to move back inside the city or anybody uh, we don't have that inside the city and i think that definitely hurts us when it comes to the city of buffalo and our housing stock because a lot of them are older if we take and again there's a lot of talk about this the the east side where it used to be booming central terminal broadway fillmore jefferson those areas a lot of them houses are older a lot of them houses can be knocked down and then we can have that brand new middle class inside that area i know some of y'all may call it gentrification a lot of people especially it really don't matter what color you are a lot of people can afford that inside the city and actually are looking for those type of things as long as we get everything lined up and we don't have no more segregation like we talked about earlier i think that'd be great for the city especially what has been going on with the shootings and everything like that as to a new revitalization inside the city in those areas specifically that pretty much wraps it up i know i said five but i gave you about 10 in there you know what i'm saying i gave you a good chunk of cons to the area and things that buffalo can definitely work on and again this is some of my perspective this is a lot of, if you read the reddits oh my gosh people be dogging buffalo i don't know why i think it's a great city every city has their problems that don't that list right there and i probably left a couple off but that list right there is pretty much the problems that i see heavily around our area that can definitely go on with a change for sure especially when it comes to real estate the segregation things like that tax is we really can't do nothing about coal you can't do nothing about you get adjusted to it but a couple of things that can change i think we really will have a, a stronger heartbeat um, as to a better city to live in and more opportunities especially those jobs to come to the buffalo area so make sure you guys hit me up if you guys don't already know my name is Devonte davis a local realtor in and around the buffalo area if you guys need anything you move into buffalo or you in buffalo looking to move around make sure you guys call me up uh hit me over to call email text you guys know i'm the real Realtor in Buffalo, buying, selling, relocating, luxury, first time, it does not matter. Make sure you guys hit me up. I look forward to speaking to you guys in the next one. Check out a couple more video series that we got coming up, like uh, what you guys can afford. As always, you know, we got the vlog tours coming up and some new construction homes as always. So I will talk to you guys in the next one as always. See you soon.